Hello, my name is Zeket, and we are playing Magic Infinitum 3. And uh, today I thought we'd take a break from uh, Blood Magic and all the other uh, magic mods we've been doing and mess around with Atum 2. You see the structure behind me, it's made out of sandstone. There's a 5x5 underneath, I think we've got it all right. We also need one of these things. And it's going to cost us another star. And some gold. Maybe just throw it in there. And we get a portal to the dimension. Alright. Let's let it all spawn in around us. This is a dangerous place. Everything hates you. There are villages. Um... But let's uh, go ahead and make a waypoint. Atum portal. And it's on. Cool. Okay, it looks like there's something to the northeast. Which way are we facing? Not north. There we go. Good example of what awaits us out here. All these guys are jerks. We got a uh, spawner up here. Uh, I see what you did there. Um, okay, these things often have chests and things in them. Also spawners. There's a spawner. There's a spawner. There's a camel. Guys, come on. Hey, hey, you. You know, we have a spare soul gem. No reason why we ought to grab a camel and learn about it later. So, okay, Dusty Bones. Cloth scraps. That looks interesting. Gunpowder. We'll see what's cool. Okay, here's some coins. You can throw these into water and usually get gold coins back. Sometimes they just uh, get destroyed. Ha ha. That's what we're looking for. And these. And here's one of the artifacts that the dimension has. Cool. All in all, we found three of the navy torches. It's not going to be enough. But I see something else to the north. There's a lot of structures here. Um, yeah, okay, it's just north. A lot of structures, a lot of jerks. We find one more navy torch, and uh, oh, we got these guys. One more navy torch, and I'll be confident. Oh. Bingo. So once you got uh, at least four torches, you follow this map just uh, just like you would, uh, you know, any other. And sooner or later, you'll find the pyramid. And once you found it, you gotta find the entrance, and you'll know it when you see it.
Here's what we're looking for. I'll dig this out. This one is particularly buried. Let's dig this out the rest of the way. Okay. Torch. Torch. And of course we've been screwing around out here looking for the entrance for some time, so all the spawners have uh have activated multiple times. There's a few more up here. Cool. Okay, can we do anything with strange sand? Hmm. Oh, let's keep it, why not? Alabaster. Our precious torches. Hmm. Weird. Okay, anything good? Okay, protection six. That's good. I'll take the camel armor. Up here we have another navy torch. Dirty coins. Another chest over here. We're not done. Let's, uh... Where is our spell book? Alright. Let's head down. So, you gotta be careful down here. There are traps. You wanna right click them with your pick, I found. It tends to disarm them. There's gas and fire and all kinds of things fit to ruin your day. And eventually, you, uh, find your way out of here. And you'll notice you can't break these blocks. Once you fight the boss, you can break the blocks. Well, you have to defeat the boss. Hey, hey! Oh, we got him on the floor. This is definitely where we want to be. Let's uh, deal with these traps. Get potch out there. Oh, this thing. All right. go. There's the pharaoh. I'm not really expecting too much trouble at this point. We're pretty beefy. So all of these guys drop one of those artifacts. And again, don't leave your torches. Once this happens, the pyramid becomes in kind of a ruined state. You can, uh, what do we got? Isis is healing. Regeneration. Nice. Dirty ring. Auto smell. Let's see what else we can find here. Find germs. Now I've gotten everything that I think there is to get there. Something I seem to have noticed. Let's see if it happens when we come up onto the surface here.
Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we got a sandstorm gun. Oh, yeah! Assassins. Every time. Every time you come out of one of these pyramids, assassins are coming for you. So, we got um, Isis's healing. We got uh, Geb's might. There's a that's another artifact. Does a ton of damage. It's pretty slow. Uh, we got Montu's strike, which is pretty cool looking. And there was another one. I thought I don't see it now. Ah, it's in my hopper. Scepter of Nephthys. It's a uh, looks like a weapon. It's like it's a little glitched out. We found a village. It's a little hard to tell with uh, with the sandstorm <laughs> that we're in the middle of right now. Let's see if we can find anything cool. Oh, there's villagers. And another one. No map this time, just found it. Come here, you. In another throne room. Worshipper of Aten. That tells you, uh, what kind of artifact you're gonna get. Let's grab these. Yeah, we got, uh, okay, we got Montu's Blab. We got Atam Spectre, that's what I expected. And anything in here? Oh, Totem of Undying, that's cool. Here's another one. Horus's Ascension. Oh, I didn't even see it. There it is. She's Scepter. I came back home to kind of take stock, see what we want to try to grab more of. Um, we got flax seeds. Okay, those plant just fine. And we got Amor seeds. Okay, those plant just fine. We don't need the fertile soil to uh, put them down in this. And in those chests, we picked up all kinds of dirty this, dirty that, bracelets, a lot of coins. What you do is you toss them in water. Some of them will break. Some of them, you'll get, uh, you'll get a thing back. All told, this is what we ended up with. It's just, uh, you know, it doesn't do anything. You can equip it. Um, in the curio slots, I think you can see him in the character model. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I think you can trade them with some of the Atom villagers, too. Hopefully we'll find out about that. Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Hey, 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 Sandy boy. Awesome. Oh my you fried him? Kinda kicks butt. Oh, I better kick butt. Home safe. Crying out loud. 
sir. What am I carting around? A camel? And a hippogriff. Uh, the camel right here. There will be more camels. This is the first wolf I've ever seen that I can ride. We'll come back for doggo too. Hey, come on, come on. These guys are so bad at like staying in a place when you move from one dimension to another. All right, come on. Let's all hang out together. It's like goth muppet babies in here. All right. Another pharaoh room. Another couple of navy torches. This time we have a uh, summon worshiper and Nepti. I woke them up and they're cranky. Let's see here. So they dropped Anubis's Wrath and that Nephthys Scepter. We already have one of those. I don't think we have the Wrath of Anubis. Soul Drinker. Absorbs, though. Okay, so it probably increases in damage as you, as you use it. Cool. And here's one more. This will be the last one we do. Worshipper is somebody. Oh, the worshipper in the Alright, that should have given us... Well, we got new eat Scepter. That's not what I was looking for, but that, that's still pretty cool. And we got another copy of Montu's Strike. So what I was looking for, just because it's, it's big and cool, was uh, was one of these things. Um, had a chance to apply wither, chance to apply weakness. It's uh, eh, they're pretty cool looking, but that's okay. All right, well don't ask me what happened to the big wolf. <laughs> I was gonna try the armor out on him. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Let's see. Okay, so you want a saddle also, huh? Armor looks cool. Okay, let's uh let's put a saddle on him. Okay, it's got like a uh, jump boost. It's fast. Yeah. Oh, blue and like I gotta knock down those sugar cane. Okay. It's pretty cool. Go around to the front of the house. I don't have a stable or a spot. I guess I'll have to tie him up on the porch. And uh, I think that's going to about do it for this time. Let's, uh, I can't see him. There we go, sort of. <laughs> I'm sitting on his head. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.